countdown underway. And qualification match number 28 getting started. A lean 49-10 racing grab power cells from the initiation line for the Blue Alliance. Elfman doing the same for Red. Savor 624 and West grabbing power cells from the trench and rendezvous zone for the Red Alliance. Autonomous period over Blue Alliance early lead 90 to 72. Robots racing the loading zones to grab hold of new power cells. Just like in the real infinite recharge, power cells are only available from the loading zone when they are scored by the opposing alliance. What that means is that as Brian9605 pow fires power cells into the outer and inner port, that is making power cells available at the loading zone for the Red Alliance. We haven't seen much strategy surrounding this today, but as we get further and closer to our playoffs, we may see teams start to limit their scoring, to limit access to power cells for their opponents. 90 seconds to go, Blue Alliance in the lead, 166 to 108, but those scores changing rapidly due to the fast-paced scoring of these OP robots on the field. Sabor 624 and West simultaneously firing into the power ports for the Red Alliance, but we're seeing Brian 9605 come into play some defense against Blue. Brian ultimately maintaining contact for too long. They hit that five second trigger and they get respawned on their initiation line and earn a 15 point penalty for their alliance. Less than a minute to go, Blue Alliance maintaining their lead. Aleem 4910 now playing defense for the Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance shifting from a pure offense strategy. Looks like they're focusing on having two robots score and one robot pay defense at almost all points in the match. As Silverhawk and Brian 9605 empty out their hoppers, Aleem now first to go back and grab more power cells to score. Endgame period underway. No robot racing towards the rendezvous point just yet. We're seeing robots wait until the last possible moment to move the rendezvous points, trying to score those final power cells. Neither alliance with 90 have scored power cells yet, but the blue alliance getting very close with 12 seconds remaining. Robots beginning to line up under the shield generator switch. We have Elfman and West for the Red Alliance. Initially, they're joined by Sabor 624. All three Blue Alliance bots there. Match over. It looks like the Red Alliance was able to get all three robots up. Not as clear for Blue. We'll have to wait for the final results to see if that ranking point was earned. Final score, 341 and the win for the Red Alliance, 327 for Blue. By looking at those end, go end game points, we can see the Blue Alliance was not able to get all three of their robots up or two robots up and balanced, only able to score 55 points during the end game period. Red Alliance though, they get 90 points from end game. They'll be walking home with three ranking points, two from their win and one from that end game achievement. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.